So today, I'm gonna catch a friend of mine. His name is Alex, who was in my channel before. If you haven't watched it yet, you have to check it out. But we're gonna go some cafe, so doing language exchange. We do normally that once a week. I think he will be coming uh, shortly. Let's kill the cafe. Yeah, here it is. I haven't, I haven't ordered yet. Okay. Haven't ordered yet. Oh, order? No, no, not yet. Yeah. How's it going? Hey, good. You? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Good. Yeah. Um, can I just have an English breakfast? Yeah? Yeah. Hi, um, can I get a, can I get a flat white? Flat white. Yeah. Anything else for you? No. Just how are you? Yeah, good, good. Yeah. You? Um, I'm fine, I'm fine. And uh, very windy. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty windy. I was in um going into the city this morning. Oh really? We uh went to buy some PC parts. PC parts. Yeah, like computer parts. Ah. Like um yeah 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 like um so he's upgrading his PC so we bought a new motherboard, new CPU, yeah, um some new RAM, new power supply. Oh yeah. It's not about your one? No, not my one. I want to upgrade my one. I'm, I'm waiting because there's some new stuff coming out soon and it was, it was really windy and nice. <laughs> we, we left here at like 8.30 30. Um, but we didn't realize that the shop doesn't open until 10. Oh. So we got there what really early. Up to, up to your um, shop so we wound up walking all the way um, at everything. Mm -hmm. Tech have, have more stuff. Is that like a specialty shop? Mm -hmm. um, so they like specialize. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I know that's oh. I move yeah. around a bunch of corners. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, the National War Museum. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> we haven't been there before. Oh, I've never nice. been there before. So, um, I've yeah. been there for it's pretty nice. oh, yeah. Prince Harry. Oh, Prince Harry. Prince Harry yeah. came, came, came over to New Zealand. Alright. Set up lighting something. Yeah. <laughs> Two years ago, I think. Yeah, I took the, the Wednesday off. Last Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. I know it was really nice. I went for a, a run in the morning. Mm -hmm. It was really cold. It was one of those mornings where I know you don't want to go out for the run, but then once you're actually out there and you, you get yourself warm, it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can run. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come back inside and you start warming up and it feels bad again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I went for a, a nice bike ride in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, kind of cycled along the, the river, um, you know, the riverside cycle track, if you know. I don't know where it is. Like, um... Hot river? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. along Hot River. How long did it take? Uh, it was maybe like 45 minutes or so. At first I was having trouble deciding which day to take off because yeah. there was like always something that I wanted to get done at work. <laughs> Eventually I just realized that I just had to pick a day and yeah. just take it off because yeah. there was always going to be yeah. stuff that I, I yeah. want to get done. Yeah. Um, that is the first time you take taking a day off since you so I started zero. Yeah. yeah. Although this was slightly different, so it was like a free day off. They gave everybody a free day off that we could use in a like within a one month period. Is that different from like an annual leave? Yeah, because it didn't count towards any days or anything. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. they just gave everyone a free day off. How many days? Just one. Just only one. Yeah, yeah, just the one day. Mm -hmm. Like we've still got the normal, you know, four weeks of annual leave. Yeah. And then there's like ten days sick days. Yeah. Um, but this was like an extra, just one free day. One extra day. Yeah. What about the Christmas season? Are you guys still working on the Christmas day? Uh, no, not Christmas day. Like uh, we have a break, mm. like uh, from Christmas day to until like uh, first second weeks of mm. January. Yeah. So zero normally closed down for one week. For one so week. That, yeah, yeah, and. Actually, those days don't count towards your annual leave normally either. Those are also free, so you don't have to use your leave. But you still can be You still paid. get paid, yeah, yeah. It's free life. <laughs> yeah, that one week. Um, but this year, because of COVID, they're forcing everyone to take an extra two weeks after that one week. That's one thing I wanted to have, uh, you know, while we, while we are closing Christmas mm. season, I haven't been paid before. 
get used to the new pay. You know? Yeah, that's normal. Yeah. That's normal. Hey. Yeah, yeah. So you still be busy? Yeah, yeah. Still, still busy. Still good. Mm -hmm. um, lots of interesting stuff going on. Yeah. Um, they're currently kind of deciding which teams are in charge of which areas because mm -hmm. they've been growing a lot recently. So yeah. there are lots of kind of grey boundaries between yeah. where the teams kind of lie so yeah. there, there's lots of like old stuff that needs fixing but no one really wants to fix it because they're not sure if they're in charge of it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How many people in your team are you working with? Um, so Thankbeat's team there's like six pods where each pod is maybe five or six engineers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so. You are the one of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What are you doing now the of the weekend? I don't know. Um, I was gonna try to finish. Um, one of my colleagues sent me a book mm -hmm. called Fooled by Randomness, which I've been reading, uh, mm -hmm. which is good. I might try finish that tomorrow. Yeah. What kind of book is it? Um, it's it's kind of weird. It's it's about um, share markets, yeah. um, but it's kind of from the perspective of a philosopher. Mm -hmm. um, and so he talks a lot about like statistics and randomness and about how um, how the randomness of the stock market can affect the way that we think about it. Yeah. The fact that we can like trick ourselves into thinking that we understand it, but it's still random, so we don't we don't really understand it. <laughs> I think it's very complicated for me. <laughs> yeah, it's complicated <laughs> for me too. <laughs> Are you still reading some Japanese anime? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, been, yeah. I've been reading... Um, so I recently finished reading one called Ima wa Mado o Sana no Shimi no Imo. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you even understand Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ima wa Mado o Sana no Shimi no Imo to Deskid. Deskid. Where did you get it from? I bought it in Japan when I was there last. Oh, yeah. and you haven't, you haven't read it yet? Yeah, I haven't read it yet. So I've got like a, a backlog on my bookshelf of stuff that I haven't read yet. Mm -hmm. And I'm slowly working through. Mm -hmm. And then how many books are you like, still not reading? I don't know, there's a few. Maybe, maybe 15 or 20. Wow. Yeah, that yeah. I need to read. Your back must have been very big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I recently finished that and that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's got a sequel, but I'm not sure that I want to read it because it, it felt like it finished it off pretty nicely. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't really need to read the sequel. Can you read that old book without dictionary? Uh, maybe I need to look up words sometimes. Oh. Maybe at a similar rate to what I have to when I read English books. <laughs> I don't know. Some words I didn't, I don't know. I can't read some Japanese stuff that some younger Japanese created. It's normally like, so I hadn't read anything by this author before, so at the start of the book I had to look stuff up more, but after I got used to his writing style, yeah. it didn't get as bad. But I mean, normally light novels are targeted at like teenagers or young adults anyway, so the Japanese isn't that hard. Yeah, I think if, if the weather uh, tomorrow would be nice, I think we're going up to Kapiti. Oh yeah, Kapiti. Yeah. Kapiti. I think we're going to uh, a mall. The shopping mall. Yeah, uh, shopping mall. Yeah, in the capital. <laughs> right. And uh, so we went to before, and yeah. that was a nice time. And then what, like in Paraparam or like? I think yeah, Paraparam. Oh yeah. Paraparam. Paraparam. Yeah, well, it's called Paraparam Ulu, right? Paraparam Ulu. Paraparam Ulu or something. It's probably the proper way to pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> Very keen to do camping stuff. Oh yeah. 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 She's got a few things. Something what kind of camping? Like, um, um, there are two. So there's one thing that sure. people call glamping, which is like glamorous camping. Glamorous camping. You're very comfortable. You've got lots of chairs. You've got like oh, yeah. stuff to cook food on. Yeah. And then there's like bush camping, where you're like in the middle of a bush. It's raining. You've got like a sleeping bag. With a tent? <laughs> uh, no, no. You can have a tent, but yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um what kind of camping are we going to be? So, I haven't been camping for yeah. over 15 years and mm. when I was a child so I went to camp camping you know, with my family so I don't remember so much about it so we are going to get some sleeping bags and I think that tomorrow 
we would try we would try to do at the beach. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. Like semi camping. <laughs> <laughs> practice. Practice practice. Yeah. <laughs> right. Should we switch to this? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so today's language exchange is all done and uh, I think we're gonna do next week again and uh, please give me a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe so uh, see you guys next video bye bye